Hey guys, Haven here and I am here to show you my grocery haul that I got today and tell y'all about the meal plan that I am creating. All right guys, so this is my grocery haul that I got today. So you can see everything. So first of all, we're gonna talk about some of the staples that I keep in the house that I always like having in stock just because you can always make cheap meals with it um, or have snacks of it. So we'll start over here. We always have deli meat. I got these two different kinds because we can make sandwiches. My husband can bring those with some of the uh, nature's own life 40 calorie bread okay that's we always keep some of that bread in this house this is for my husband because he's not really fully doing a healthy diet and I told him that I was not gonna buy him expensive bread if he's gonna be eating Oreos on the side so <laughs> it's a little it says healthy you know um, it's not approved I don't think but uh, I will be eating the honey wheat one so always always we keep sea salt popcorn in the house I always get three or four bags a week um, for us to snack on. Jed loves it, Daniel loves it, I love it, and it's just a great cheap snack to have. These right here. My son, he's two, he loves these. Peppers, um, I got them today because I was like, you know, he has a lot of fruit, but I want him to be able to snack on some uh, veggies as well. And these are freebies. I always have green beans. Oh, green beans in the house. Uh, these are a super cheap and easy category two vegetable to have with any dinner. Let's see. Salsa. Always have salsa in the house. Because literally you can take a couple chicken breasts, can jar of salsa, and make some delicious chicken in the crock pot or in your instant pot. So let me go on to, oh, and we always have bananas in the house. My son loves those. Always have to have eggs. And these wraps also are amazing to have because they are uh, super high fiber, so they will not stick to your thighs. And you can make peanut butter and jelly wraps, turkey wraps, tacos, burritos. So the first thing on the list to make this week is vegetable beef soup. Um, I'm gonna be making that. I'm going to be making salsa chicken burritos. I, when that's what I bought the salsa and this cheese dip for. You can have a little bit as a condiment. So excited about that. Um, I'm going to be making chicken enchiladas with zucchini as the wrap. So super excited about that. Improved chicken pot pie with carb quick. I'm gonna be making it different than last time a little bit just because last time it was so runny and the carb quick on top got really mushy. And then of course, sorry for my hair. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's always crazy. So then also I have the pizza right here for a night, pizza with some green beans. So for everything I got right here, this is literally, I have a few things still left in uh, the cabinet, but everything here is gonna be like six nights of dinners. Um, I have a bunch of lunch options here. I can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with the healthy life turkey sandwiches, the oatmeal, um, that with some egg whites on the side uh, and I have snacks so we have the bell peppers the popcorn and freebies like pickles right here so I'm really set for an entire week and including like my uh, wow whatever this stuff's called dishwasher detergent vinegar this, I put this in every load of my laundry by the way little tip it gets smells out so for all this and a case of water okay it was hundred and twenty dollars okay so for a family of four and no my baby does not eat food yet but still uh, it'll be great and a lot of the meals will have leftovers so it's very likely that I won't even make a meal or two of this this week um, and it'll roll over to the next week just because there will be leftovers so let me know what you think do you buy any of this stuff what's your favorite thing 
that you buy budget wise. I know this wasn't like the biggest budget friendly one, um, but I just wanted to try a bunch of new recipes this week and uh, get cooking.